This is the bigger video version of uh, OmniPops, and as I mentioned in the prior uh, Perpetual Pops 2.0, we're going to use the uh, new system here with OmniPops, which is just a, a bit of an upgrade. It's not that big of an upgrade, but uh, it's a bit better of a system, and uh, it's easier to trade easier to call the signals on and uh, there's a lot of money to be made okay a ton of money to be made uh with these one day trades and uh now tesla and ba uh they're they have moderately priced cheap options okay that makes sense so we're trading short-term weekly options uh if you want cheaper options that are a little bit you can say they're better options or better priced. We have the the first Omnipop signal service with Caterpillar and IBM. And uh, those options have been very well priced, meaning that the options deltas are pretty good and the premium's pretty good uh, in relation to how that instrument moves about. So what that means is that when the when caterpillar or ba i'm not going sorry when caterpillar and ibm move about uh, they can move enough so we could get paid well on our options and the premium decay is not as big as you'll see here with uh, tesla and boeing but tesla and boeing on average can put in a lot more points it's particularly Tesla, of course. At least at this time, you mean, you know, in the future, if it does a ton of splits, and of course it gets fat, and etc. So, uh, but Tesla is, a, is supposed to be a big company of the future, so it's probably going to keep on going and doing the Microsoft thing, go up, split, go up, split, go up, split, and so on. And the Microsoft has been taken over, and I think that's going to be used as well. Amazon's rumored to be on Mars right now, delivering packages to other planets and stuff. You, you can check that out, but uh, that's cool. I mean, you know, why not? Uh, so, uh, okay, so we have Boeing and Tesla here. And about in this video, I'm going to go over Boeing. You can see here, uh, yesterday, today's the 10th. We bought the uh, sport before close October 13th. That's the expiration date. 185 calls at 4:45. Okay, so we're here on Boeing options. Just looking at Yahoo options. Yahoo options have gotten better again. So uh, 185 is uh, 8.95. So almost nine. So 8.9, uh oh. I'll have to click on the calculator. 8.95 minus 4, what was it? 45. Okay, 4.5 points. So, you know, I got a double there. It's nice. I mean, uh, IBM and Caterpillar, we've seen a lot of triples, quadruples, uh, what do you, how do you say five tuples? Five tuples? Sync tuples? Uh, and uh, pent tuples? Okay. Uh, so uh, it's nice, all right. But uh, the thing is, percent gain is one thing. That means that if we have a really low price option and it goes up with a nice pop, we can get the percent gain <clears throat> here with, uh, uh, with the faster moving stocks we can get the volume gain the volume of profit points so uh, that that translates into uh, uh, more well a lot of cash so let's say a IBM option goes from two to six right it does a trip right so uh, the net profit is 4,000, right? 
So here today, uh, Boeing did a 5.5-point uh, pop, which is not a miracle. It's just a nice pop. It's not like an extra special pop, but, it, you know, again, it's nice. And, uh, and so we have a double, but we make more money, okay, on the options. So we bought the options at 4.45. 4.45 and uh, we went to 8.95 currently so a net 4.5 uh, profit which is uh, which is four thousand five hundred dollars on 10 contracts versus IBM which took a let's say a 10 contract position and uh, I turned two thousand into six thousand and it's a nice percent gain that's great uh, but, you know, again, it just depends on your approach to money management. If you are using the flat rate, uh, you know, like I'm talking about 10 contracts, then that's the difference, All right? And if you're comparing uh, percent position size, okay, well, things can uh, be a little different. So then you would say, well, you, you put $4,450 into this trade on 10 contracts. If you put the same amount of money into the IBM position, right, 4,400, you would get, let's just call it 4,500, you would be at uh, 22 contracts for IBM. Okay, so uh, 22 times 100 times how many points? Four profit points on IBM. So if you're using the same amount of money per position size, then uh, yes, in that case, you make more money. Uh, your profit would be $9,000 with IBM. So let me get a more fair and balanced picture on, uh, on that. But uh, anyways, some people like to just allocate a flat position. It's really, you know, 10 contracts, I'm a 10 contract trader, or I'm a one contract trader, or I'm a two contract trader. And just, so that mentality is out there. And then some people take the money mentality. I'm a $1,000 per trade trader. You know, I'm a $4,000, $4,500 dollar per trade trader, or whatever. And uh, so uh, you can get a uh, better picture of money that can be made. So that's why I'm going on and on about uh, position size in here because it translates directly to how much money can you make and should you use the cheaper options, IBM and Caterpillar versus Tesla and Boeing. And uh, we have a third one we didn't formally rule that out yet, but uh, I think Bidu, okay, B-I-D-U, you know, Chinese search engine, uh, that's a wild one, but uh, it can be extremely profitable, and uh, I forgot uh, what we're pairing with that, but we'll, we'll announce that. Just join our newsletter, okay, to hear any, hear any new announcements, and you'll be able to see it on the site, but you want to get the announcements so you don't have to keep checking the site. Uh, but uh okay so i just wanted to show that boeing example i'll have to get on the tesla one later but uh we have a short version up there but tesla you know it can pop 15 points in a day like it's nothing right so anyways that's it omni pops check out on besttradingsignals.net uh the track record and uh we're gonna be uh, we've already started rolling with 2.0, and uh, the 2.0 version again is uh, just a—it's just a bit more refined. Uh, it's a more of a major change on perpetual pops. We're using it there. It's a bit more refined on Omni pops uh, 2.0, and it's it's uh, it's better for subscribers. Okay, the win rate is, should be. Uh, even better, and it's just easier for signal callers as well. 
and it's just more solid and stable so we like it and uh, hey you know if we can help you make some money particularly in these slow times of current then uh, that'd be nice right if we do help you okay advance then please let us know we always like hearing those stories but a lot of you out there will have a hard time with uh, with trusting someone's signals and that's understandable okay? understandable uh, so you may want to get your own trading system and I would go to options trading authority dot com right or go to options weekly paychecks dot com and you can get yourself an instant solution that you know, I mean we have some very good systems there all right and uh, in the future we're probably going to take them down and just you know keep them in our trading companies unless we feel guilty that we're making too much money and we should probably help you know share some but we've had these systems up a lot of these systems have been up for years right they're really 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 good and if you can put them to use and then compound them you're set okay now if you can keep on compounding well you can become there's a potential for you to become very wealthy uh, okay so that's about it so you can go to uh, besttradingsignals.net for these signals you can go to optionstradingauthority.com for options trading systems and you can go uh, for more of a micro swing focus and a more of a immediate cash now type of focus uh, to optionsweeklypaychecks.com. Alrighty, thanks.